I'm a radiation oncologist uh, from Oregon. I've been in practice for 47 years. I've been the professor and chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology uh, since uh, for a long time. I joined the department in 42. I'm also the president of Physicians for Compassionate Care Education Foundation. Assisted suicide is for those who are supposed to live less than six months to live, uh, but it's not necessary for those who are dying. Uh, predicting life expectancy is fraught with error. It's very difficult to predict a patient's life expectancy. From 1998 to uh, 2012, we've had 673 recorded assisted suicide deaths. Oregon has a population of 4 million people. I'll tell you some of the patients I have that uh, relate to this. Uh, in 2004, a man in his 40s was diagnosed with advanced liver adenocarcinoma, a very malignant tumor. CAT scan showed that he had 13 tumors in his liver and over 70 tumors in his lungs. He was told by his doctor that he only had about a month, a month and a half, six weeks to live. Uh, hearing this news, um, he and his wife started getting her ready for life without him. They, uh, within two weeks, they sold $20,000 of his tools and his books for 10 cents on a the dollar. He, they arranged for a burial plot. But he was puzzled because he was not feeling sick. And he questioned the doctors, you know, what's really going on here? Because he, the tumor, the CAT scans showed that he had all these tumors. So they did further liver biopsies. They sent the liver biopsies to seven different pathologists. And a, a specialist in Boston finally correctly diagnosed him as having epithelioid hemangioendothelioma, which can be a non-terminal condition. He has never received cancer chemotherapy. His tumors have not changed. He gets periodic CAT scans. And he's alive and working nine years after a, quote, terminal diagnosis. After the original terminal diagnosis, he and his wife made very hasty decisions. Since they live in Oregon, his terminal diagnosis could qualify him for the assisted suicide. He could have ended his life uh, early, which would have been very tragic. And in doing so, he and his family would have missed out on the past nine healthy and productive years, and even more years into the future. We have hundreds of hopeless cases that, that can survive many profitable years. These are people that hospital administrators and doctors would have abandoned and not treated. In the 1970s, I treated a 30-year-old woman uh, who also had liver cancer that had spread to her chest. Um, we treated her, didn't really think she had long to live, but with combined radiation and chemotherapy, her tumors disappeared. She lived over 20 years with quality of life, and people like her are eligible for assisted suicide in Oregon. 23 years ago, I treated an 18-year-old college student who had a very malignant brain tumor. Many doctors did not expect him to survive, or if he did survive, the effect of the radiation on the brain would severely affect his mental function. But surgery and radiation cured his tumor. He went on to graduate from college. Uh, he went to law school, graduated from law school, passed the state bar exam in Oregon, married, had two children, uh, was actually elected to the city council, and he's lived over 20 productive years. Remember a few years ago, a woman who was, in her, who was 50 years old, and she had very advanced mycosis fungoides, which is a, a lymphoma that covers your whole skin. Uh, the, the whole skin was involved, and she couldn't even stand or walk. And I had to treat her in a, when she was in a lying position, lying down position, whereas normally we have them stands so where you can treat all of the skin. And my colleague said, why are you treating this woman? She's not going to survive very long. Well, her tumors dis on her skin disappeared, and uh, she was alive uh, over 10 years later. Uh, Jeanette Hall here. Um, she's a cancer patient that I consider was lured into suicide. In the year 2000, uh, she was diagnosed, and you'll hear more about her story from her, but she was diagnosed with uh, a tumor in the low rectum, and uh, she was referred to me from the surgeon, and the, uh, uh, I told Mrs. Hall that uh, you know, we can cure this tumor with chemotherapy and radiation. But Mrs. Hall uh, said, Dr. Stevens, you don't understand. I am here for the pills. T two years ago, I voted for the assisted suicide, and that's why I'm here. I don't want to go through the chemotherapy. She went back to the surgeon, and the surgeon told her that she had, uh, if she didn't get treated, she had uh, six to 12 months to live. I asked her, would you come back? next week, and same story. She wanted the pills. Dr. Stevens, why are you not giving me pills? And after uh, 
about four visits, uh, she finally agreed that there was reason to live, and she completed treatment. The surgery disappeared with the chemotherapy and radiation. She never did have, have surgery. We live in the southwest part of Portland, uh, Oregon, and uh, about five years later, uh, uh, we saw each other in a restaurant, and, and she came up to me. She said, Dr. Stevens, you saved my life. And now she's uh, alive 13 years later and very grateful to be alive. The message that proponents of assisted suicide and euthanasia are giving to patients is that doctors can do a better job of killing them than they can of taking care of them. Than of taking care of them. Uh, the patients, uh, we have patients, uh, we have people in Oregon that call me on the phone and know of my position and they, they say, I'm, I'm going to this particular doctor. Is he a death doctor? Is he going to look out for me or is he going to kill me? And patients worry that the doctor, the doctor is going to be their attorney, judge, jury, and executioner. Oregon is rationing uh, cancer treatment but offering assisted suicide to cancer patients. The Oregon Health Plan is our uh, Oregon, is Medicaid in Oregon. And it puts limits on uh, the particular treatment that people can receive, but they will offer assisted suicide. And this is, that's why the Quebec Bill 52 is a license to kill. Thank you.